plaintiff, Joanne Ashley, says after she hired the defendant to work for her cleaning service, she started coming up with all sorts of excuses as to why she couldn't show up to work. Joanne says she loaned the defendant money because she claimed she couldn't feed her children, but she's suing because she has yet to be repaid. Defendant Melanie Bronner says after she started working for Joanne, she realized Joanne was rude and she even hit on Melanie's husband. Melanie admits that she missed work, but says it was only because she has three little kids and she can't repay the loans because Joanne fired her. Start with you. Well, I uh, employed Melanie under the guise that I hoped she would be a good employee. Big mistake. Big mistake. I had one excuse after another why she couldn't come to work, and it was just, it was an endless uh, continuation. Give me some examples. Well, um, she couldn't come into work because uh, she, her, she had a sore neck. She couldn't come into work because her car wouldn't start. She couldn't come to work because she, cause she didn't have, uh, she didn't sleep very well. You know, Your Honour, if I didn't go into work every time I didn't sleep well, I'd never go into work. I mean, it's ridiculous. Neither would I. <laughs> And then the, the, the one for me that was the greatest was when she got into a car accident and couldn't call me to say she's been in a car accident because the policeman took her phone. I mean, what policeman takes a phone? I've never heard such <laughs> rubbish. I mean, I, I mean, I may be blonde, but I'm not that stupid, please. What type of... Uh... I run a cleaning business. Okay. Ma'am, is that true? You are I was driving on a suspended unreliable license. as an employee? Yes, I mean, I am. I just have to, I have three little you kids. You are unreliable. No, I am reliable as an, an employee. Oh. I have three little kids, and there were circumstances that rose that happened. Yes, I admit that they did. How long was she employed with you? She worked for, she's worked for me uh, from, from January through to March. Uh, so sorry, to April. Three months. How Four many months. times did you call in in three months, just by your own estimate? Six, maybe? <gasps> so that's, oh. well, that's twice a month. I it mean, was that's week. pretty... Uh... I worked seven days a week for the first three, two months I was there. Oh, you right. didn't turn up for seven oh, days of the oh, week, man. though. I mean, one week I've got you calling out three times. Every Wednesday you didn't turn up. What's up with the Wednesday? What are you doing? <laughs> no, I just... Happy hour Tuesday no. night? Yeah, I right. You work seven days a week, you deserve to have a day off. I mean, she wanted me to work seven days a week and make $98 a week. How do you pay okay. for gas? Well, did you Wait. discuss that with her when you became an employee or when you applied for the job? Did well, she say it's she... a seven-day-a-week job? No, she did not say that. Oh, yes, I did. No, you didn't. But you so, didn't. So, all right, hold on. So, worked there three months. The first week, you knew you were working seven days, right? Yeah, after I was All called. right. Did you say, boss, I think seven days is a lot. Most folks get a day off. Did you say that? Yes. And what'd she say? She told me that she had too many rentals and not enough employees. She said, I don't give days off. Well, she had a revolving door of girls that kept coming to work. She hired a homeless man off the side of the road. Now, what was her response to you what? saying, I don't, don't you give a day off? No, she didn't give a day off. She said she's too she busy. She said, I can't give you a day off? She said she was too busy. Okay, and you interpreted that as no days off. Yeah. But yet you're saying the reason you took off is because she had a seven day a week policy. Not only that, I have little kids and I have stuff, you know, my son got sick. And you knew all that the first week? No. You didn't know you had kids the first week? Well, no, week? I know I had. So you went to her and she made it plain. Yes, it is a seven day a week job. Did you then decide that perhaps you should leave the job or explain to her that you couldn't do seven days a week because you have these other responsibilities, primarily your children? I did explain that to her. And what did she say? She didn't care. All right, so wasn't that time to quit? Pretty much, is, yeah. Did you? No, she fired me. <laughs> After four weeks? No, after three months. That's my point. So you didn't quit in a timely manner, even though you knew. You just money. instead took the days off. She had clients that would call in and say that they didn't need us. They wanted to reschedule the day of cleaning. So, yes, if I had one house to do that day, if she had a client I, call I in and talk say... talk all like that. That's why you got fired in the first place. Okay. <laughs> Did she have that attitude when yes. she talked to you? Yes, Your Honor. And you let her yes. stay there for three months? You know what? Because I'm not going to let her stay here for three minutes if she <laughs> talks to me like this. Then you were paying her. I'm not giving her a dime, and I'm about to throw her out. You I, do you know one what? more of those like to me, you gone. <laughs> you must have watched this. I don't take contempt. I'll throw you no, out. No. 
Oh, right. Uh, you know, Your Honour, I, I felt... She, she gave me all these excuses about her family. I felt sorry for her, so I gave her... A, you know, she kept on saying, I've got no money, I can't feed my kids, I've got no money for electricity, so I, made, I gave her a loan over the course of time, which, you know... And, That's what you're suing yeah. for. Yeah. And... Uh, the agreement, then I got to sign a, lo a loan contract that with the agreement that I would take $30 out of her paycheck each each week for her to pay back. That didn't so help you because she wasn't coming to work, so exactly. how did that help? <laughs> and then, and then uh, you know, it was, um, but the, uh, the understanding was that if she decided to leave or was unemployed for any reason, she would still pay back within 30 days, and I never heard a thing. As Hold to, on, as, now, as now, now, I, now, now I have to ask you some very basic questions. Yes, if she lost her job, the payments would have to speed up. No, no. If, if she lost her job, she would have to pay the whole back because right. I, I, you know... In I 30 days. Yeah. If she kept her job, how long would she I was, get? I was hoping that she was going to stay in the job so that she could... I, we gave it till the 31st I guess my July. point is, if you give a person one year to pay, for example... No, the, the, how the, many? it was from the 31st of July, so it was how a couple long? of months to pay back. All right, you give a person a couple of months, but then you fire them, they only have one month. Your Honor, I never actually fired her. I, the, oh, I've she's never still working? No, no she... I, well, then no. you did fire her. No, no she didn't. She didn't, uh, she didn't call, uh, she call... She called in to say she wasn't coming in because she didn't sleep well, and I never heard any more from her. Oh, so okay. I, said, I have a physical disability. No, you I, got a job, too. Well, yes, but I also have a physical disability. No, you still have a job with no, her. No, she, That's no. what your physical disability She said she didn't fire you. Yes, did she you did. you want to work or not? No, not anymore for her. She fired oh, me. Oh, that was the problem in the first place. Exactly. She doesn't want to work. So we got the her. problem. Not for her. I understand I you. got a job. I'm still cleaning on my own. Okay, so that's why you quit. Got it. Yeah. All right, you had another job. $550. What do you say to this, ma'am? Well, I mean, she fired me without notice. She had one of the co-workers mm -hmm. text me and say, Joe wants me to come get the keys. Where do you live? And that's how it ended. I handed the keys over. She said over. she didn't fire you, and yeah. she said, in fact, as I said, you could work there right now. So it's not Why unjust. Why would I want to work with for her? She because was nasty. She's mean. All right, she well, hit on my husband. Mm -hmm. Oh she my god! She killed your husband. She hit on, on my your husband. husband. Oh. She is I was nasty. I say y'all in the wrong court. Did I have your children for you as well? Oh, I mean, for goodness sake. Definitely sorry. in the wrong court. If she killed your husband. Oh my lord! She hit on my husband. Hit on him. All right. How do you stand oh. there and lie like you do? Yeah, this is coming from her. Like she didn't fire me. It's in a text message. Where does it say, show me a text message that says I fired I have a hundred of them. I have a text just message. Just that one. Show. She didn't want a hundred. Just one. Yeah. Joe she wants me to come get the fired. keys. No, where no, no. do you live? Show it to me. Yeah, show, Read it, it, in it, fact. Why don't you just... No, don't show me anything. Read it. It says, does... Joe wants me to come get the keys. Where do you live? Does that say you're fired? Yeah, does that say you're fired? She no. wants to come get all the keys yeah, from me. Yeah, because you quit. Remember? I didn't Remember you quit. I did not. She said she doesn't think she should pay you because you fired her unjustly. That's the only defense I've heard. And I'm sure that wasn't a part of the agreement. Do you have was, a written agreement? I do, sir. Does it say anything about being fired unjustly as a condition of no. paying? That's the only she thing it could say. She didn't give me a chance to pay it back, say. Pardon me? She didn't even give me a chance to pay it back. You haven't tried to. Uh, you have to pay it according to the contract. I understand. I know I said. Yeah, remember, it, but... you got big business. Oh, yeah. I got my own service now. <laughs> I'm doing big things. I don't need to go back and work for her. She didn't need to give you a chance. You can pay that day. See what happens when you come talking and looking smart? That's, that's how you get talked to. Judgment for the plaintiff. I mean, seriously, I'm happily married. I would never touch your husband with a barge pole, let alone... I mean, you would never and touch where, you either. And where would you get this crap about I hired some guy off the street? You, you have... told me you hired the homeless man off the side of the road. I have never seen... You hired a bunch of drunks? You hired a bunch of... Yeah, I hired you. Oh, yeah, okay. There you go. you. I'm done.